Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and we're playing the legendary Iron Man version of the mod. Overall, we are continuing to liberate Africa. Free Africa um, is uh, the name of the game. Uh, this time we're in South Africa to neutralize the target and hinder Advent operations, essentially uh, weakening Advent's foes and at the same time increasing our resistance contacts uh, plus giving ourselves some intel. By the way, we're only getting the resistance contacts if, uh, contact if we're actually um, uh, going to kidnap the target. So it's a dark VIP mission, just a little bit uh, wrapped in a different story layer. Phil Mitch Mitchell is going to uh, lead uh, this mission and we have a well-rounded team. Other people of notice are our skirmisher Harbringer, Bayer, uh, the gunner with incredible high aim, Sean Seanigan's uh, Meg Glenson and uh, Igor Kuchais um, plus Papa, uh, Puppy who's going to be our ranger. Without further ado, uh, let's fight 16 to 18 enemies. Here we go. And here we go. So we just landed. Let's take a look. Gigantic playground. 19 turns. We already see a pack. Double sectored plus a trooper. 16 to 18 enemies. And reinforcements are going to come in relatively soon. But we got Jammer here, which is good. Yeah, it's a long way from here. Might as well Oscar Mike right away. To save some time. Moving up into this direction. Aye, aye. Contact. And we're finding our first drone. Now a specialist would be incredibly handy. Unfortunately, we don't have one. Let's use Baya here. Confirmed. And try to take high ground. All of uh, these fields here are unfortunately going to be spotted out by the drone. Out. Sean Shunigans is going to... Hmm, it's a good question. I think he's almost better off if we are moving all the way over here. But that would be incredibly aggressive. Let's not overdo it. No need to ask twice. I'll save my grappling hook. We can uh, use uh, that just a little bit later. Puppy is going to move over here. We do have, by the way, two grappling hooks. Both for Harbringer and Sean Shonigans. That is going to be fun. As you order. Probably going to Overwatch. So we got the majority of our team on high ground. Let's do this. And let's overwatch. Attacking on sight. Look what we've just found, a pack of vipers. Well, that's going to be a first good um, try for us to 
to see how strong our firepower is. And we're down to 18 turns. The drone is still over here, so if I were to move to here, we would be spotted out. Hmm. Don't want to waste our grenade as well. You know, let's maybe start without them knowing that we're on high ground, which would be great. Yeah, the drone is still there, but that's fine. We're taking a shot and we're going to get a refund for our action since it's an exposed uh, target. There's the hit and run I was talking about. And they can only react to the targets that they are seeing, which is currently one soldier. Alright, interesting. Um, I mean, yeah, we do have all the time in the world to just go down and shotgun kill them. Not a problem at all. Does that snake? Uh, where's that snake position? Oh, right here. Okay, so that's another graphical bug. Uh, thanks. So if we were to drop down here. We would still flank the snake. Fortunately, we can't see it from up here. But this here is a flanking position. Very unlikely to trigger anything else. Good, we're going to use body shield just in case. And then let's kill the Viper. Come on, Baya. Solid eight points of damage. I like where this is going. Could grapple hook, but just a bit too early. Okay, we I do have a really good idea. I I think at least that it's a really good idea. We're going to see. If it plays out, that's a good idea. Run gun. Moving to here. This should be a kill.
I love shotguns. They are simple, but yet so incredibly effective. Moving into position. Let's finish uh, the Viper. Very nice. Oh no, we're not going to risk our concealment. No, 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 no. Whiplash to kill the drone. There we go. I'm. S uh, we still got teamwork to 100% kill the vi uh, the Viper. But we don't need to do that if we hit it. Unfortunately, that's an if. Moving to here, not the best position because we're exposed, but I am willing to risk it. We haven't dropped any grenades, so it's unlikely that they immediately hear us. Good, and I was conserving a lot of our cooldowns. Oh yeah, that is that is going to be interesting. Stun Lancer in quite a few enemies. Copy that. Eyes peeled. <laughs> okay. Just what we needed. <laughs> they are not. Um, they are not on the 16 to 18 baseline. So they are indeed real add-ons. Great. Yeah. Lovely. And we've just triggered them. So we killed a pack of four. That's another pack of four. Did I mention in the past how I absolutely mislike the fact that they can take bonus shots at us? Oh yeah, please, come. Come a little bit closer. Sure. If we're planning a party, we shouldn't do it kind of halfway. In true Psycan fashion, we're pulling the entire pa uh, map. So if we were to use get some How many people would be affected? One. Yeah, that's not a lot. Yeah, I do have another idea, another potential idea. 100, 100. Got to deal with a drone. Okay. Let's start with the drone. That's it. 
That's one down. And we're using precision shot to hopefully kill one of the faceless ones right away. Unfortunately, not a crit. All right, so Mitch will make sure that all of these guys here are flashbanged, specifically our stun lancer friend. If we were to go over here. Where exactly are those guys positioned? One way of finding this out is double checking if we're melee attacking them where they are. Okay, so they are positioned here and here. Fair enough. We will need Sean in a second. I do have a plan, but we will need some time for that. All right, Bayer uh, goes for full cover. It's a 100% chance, and I'm taking the 90% chance to kill it. It's one hit, come on, keep it going. There we go. Face is down. Let's pull the advent. Fortunately, a miss. You can go over here, take a shot and another shot, but we'll trigger a drone. Let's see the disadvantage of that position. That's the disadvantage of the position. Okay, so before we do anything, let's fortify because we're going to need it. Could go over here. The problem is there is another pack. We already knew that there is another pack right there. But I do have an idea. I do have an idea. Okay, so this is going to be a crazy turn. Here's the thought process. Um, I don't want to lose concealment. Okay. So we do have teamwork and we do have command, meaning that we could hand over two actions to our shotgun, to Sean Seanigans. The only question now is, in which order are we going to fuck them? And the answer there is, in whatever order makes the most sense. So if I move here, my idea was, at the end of the day, uh, the last shot 
should be a shot where I'm positioned in safety. And the safest place would actually be on the rooftop here, far away. We do have a grappling hook to do that. So this target here is going to be our last target. I'll, so to speak, keep it for him. And just for him. Which means the idea would now be, and hopefully everything plays out well, so that I can brag what kind of a quality turn it ended up being. Move up. Hopefully kill uh, this guy here. Of course, instead of killing him, grazing shot happens. Happens to the best of us. But Sean here, Sean my boy, has a second chance. Something that not everyone gets. But Sean gets it. Sean, I'm deeply disappointed in you. The level of disappointment is quite high. So does Baha here? No, she does not see the mech. The mech is actually a problem and normally I would use the sniper in order to deal with it. But given that we are where we are, that is not a, pro uh, that is not a realistic option. Okay, my turn clearly didn't work out as I wanted it, it was way more fancy than I wanted it to be. Disadvantage of standing here is we need to take care of the mag, otherwise it's going to use its um, rockets and will hit us. Oh come on Sean. It generally was a good turn. I'm willing to pull the extra drone to apply more pressure. This here will give us an extra shot. The question is whether or not we are going to um, move back or just continue standing up, the, uh, up there. Rapid deployment, because we need the extra flashbang here. Still trying to position it in a way that it hits everyone, but it will only hit the, the uh, captain and the stun lancer. You know, let's make sure that we get the faces one down. down. 
If we're standing in the open up here, we're likely to be crit. So instead, get into full cover. And that means only the drone can somewhat reach us, and I'm okay with that. Biggest problem is the mech, and it's probably going to use rockets. There's really nothing I can do about it. In the absence of a sniper, it was too far away. That's full cover. That is full cover. Surprised that it, that he even hits. Okay, Mitch Mitchell takes a lot of damage here. I can already see what's coming. Oh no. To my surprise, it did not screw us over immediately. Instead, Mitch took pretty heavy beating. Not sure if the stunt will be removed after the round due to our uh, resistance order that we do have. If not, then we'll need to take action. Yeah, it seems as if it is not removed. Too bad. Okay, a couple of uh, things to begin with. Let's start with the mech. Very nice. Now, after we have settled that score, I am considering to move over here to flank, but we have taken quite a bit of damage and I don't want Mike to risk it dying. Could use suppression. Oops, my bad. So, Baja is positioned over here. Don't, don't trust uh, the actual display. So we're moving into the next full cover. On the move. Good, that could be a suppression. that we can't uh, hit the drone. That's a bit strange, to be honest. OK, 
Okay, Mike needs to take some really decent cover as well. So we're going to go further back. Time for him to reload. I'm willing to take the 50-50 on the stun. There we go. Yeah, and I think realistically speaking, we need to give up our concealment here. Alright, let's kill the stun lancer. Which means the only one who is left unchecked is the um, gunner over here. Gotcha. And to be honest, we can simply overwatch in case the gunner moves closer. That would be his death sentence or if the drone does anything. Good. So we got two picks uh, with three and four. That's seven. Two drones. Two drones. Uh, that's nine. Yeah, there is still more. What? A tower? Shoots all across the battlefield and mysteriously hits. What kind of trickery is this? We also saw that one uh, pack with a grenadier is positioned right at the exit. Papa here could take a shot. Hmm. This here would this here would almost be a safer bet to By the way, where is the captain? Oh, the captain is still standing uh, behind that pillar here. Uh, you gotta hate those mispositions. Good, let's deal with the drone first. And this should hopefully kill it. Target neutralized. Bayer does a nice job in cleaning everything up. Closing on target position now. Good, let's remove some cover. We still have plenty of grenades and not enough packs uh, left over that we need all of them.
Well, of course, we didn't destroy the cover. Grappling hook is down, run gun is down. Yeah, we're a bit like a fish out of water, uh, out of water when we're not having our cooldowns. So instead, let's reposition no need to ask twice. into full cover. That's a 50-50. I'm willing to take this one in order to have a chance to get rid of uh, the gunner. And now hitting this one was a blessing and a curse at the same time because could move all the way up to here but i'm not sure if that's a smart idea we know that there was one pack standing right here so this could be a vision line we immediately initially knew that there was one pack over here so charging in like a madman over here might be the wrong idea, uh, the wrong decision as well. What I could do is I could take a single move, then take a look how the overall situation is unfolding, and make my decision based on what we're seeing. Worst case scenario, we're discovering another pack. We already knew that there was a tower, and there's the other pack I was talking about. That's the ominous tower with uh, SWAT side. Well, the good news overall is if that is another pack of three, uh, then the Pack back here is the last one, and we don't have line of sight on it, which means this position here is full cover, and we're not going to trigger anyone. X ray neutralized. Good. The only thing that I don't know is whether or not the tower. Uh, tower does not have the line of sight. So that's a double move. Apparently not, because yet again the positioning of them was a bit off. Mind spin. Or reanimation, which works as well. Mind spin. Come on, mind spin. Uh, that's why you bring. That's why you always bring your mind shields with you. What is it with them and hitting full cover in this mission? Hell yeah. <laughs> that is full cover as well. Uh, by the way, guys, uh, these are all sub 20% chances to hit. Okay, the tower had high ground, so in that case, sub 30%, whatever. Yeah. Good, we know the sector it is over there. Going in for the kill. Now that's the one time, buddy. Well, you don't want to fuck it up. Is 
sector that needs to die. So moving in with run and gun. Unfortunately not with our uh, grappling hook. That's why we could get way closer into contact with him. Eighty percent. Okay. It's the chance of stunning uh, this bad boy. Ninety-five percent. Good. We're probably taking the higher chance here. I'm trusting you here. Moving up. And let's kill the trooper. Alright, that's one down. Let's see if we can make good use of our grappling hook. be the best case scenario. Well, flopping a flashbang grenade back there, that would be the best case scenario. Unfortunately, uh, we're a bit out of range. Moving. Uh, I wanted to grapple over there. But that would be stretching it a bit too far. <laughs> Look at that, we could bear, maybe even reach him. Oh, nice. 12 damage against... Uh, Power, well, almost killed it. Backup shot for the sector. Well, fortunately, we're ne uh, we need to do the stun gun. I don't want to take any chances. Mind control done. Perfect. Moving by all the way over here. Fortunately, we can't take a shot with her. Wait a second. Healing is good. Killing the zombie is good as well. But we do have retaliation, which means if the zombie attacks us, we can attack back, killing it.
Let's go and kill the Viper. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the game hates us. Moving over here. Faceless one takes some damage. Nice little crit. I think we can finish it off. Okay, well, overall an okay round. Going to be shot uh, from cover once. Yep, that was to be expected. We just healed ourselves for four. Now got hit again for four. I wasn't expecting that. I thought the tower had no line of sight. Ouch. We are really missing a specialist in this mission. The number of times where the specialist would have helped us um, is incredibly high. Okay, so this is out of line of sight of uh, the tower. As you command. That's a nice hit and run. And that should be a kill. Papa here needs to first aid our Shinobi. Our biggest problem is indeed the tower at the moment. Moving up. What's over there? Can't reach anything but uh, the zombie. And of course, uh, the one time that we need a good hit, it is a mediocre one. Still 13 more turns, so that's going to be a nail, bi uh, nail biter, guys. So 
zombie or a sector it. We're going for a zombie and I'd like to kill it. Enemy destroyed. Could you some ammo over here? This is hopefully going to expose the tower. Yes, indeed. And this should be a kill. Target neutralized. Good job, Shonigans. Well done. Moving by up all the way to the front line. And we need to stabilize very soon, elsewise we're going to have our first um, fallen soldier. Yeah, that was to be expected. That, on the other hand, was not expected. I'm under the impression that those three are the last ones. Correction, those four. This is a pretty much a slaughter fest. The entire yard is covered by bodies, uh, covered with corpses. Here's the advantage of our grappling hook. Moving all the way down here. Oh shit, reinforcements are coming in next turn. And the one who could jam the reinforcements is laying on the ground. Yep, another faceless one, great. Time to kill the sector. Paya moves over here. One, two, three, four. All right, body shielding against the Viper. Instant reload. And let's chain shot the faceless one. They are pretty much messing up my calculations. The faceless ones, that is. Because whenever I think I somewhat got it sorted out and can kill the enemies, all of a sudden two faceless ones are showing up. And the whole plan is 
somewhat compromised. Alright, Poppy moves all the way over without even taking a shot. Need to save Private Ryan. And at the same time, let's move to here. Offer Harbringer as a potential target. By the way, we're so fucked next round, we're going to get reinforcements. All right. We did what we could. And now we gotta deal with the reinforcements. The priest is nasty. The other two are potentially doable. Like we can we can deal with them. Viper is moving into full cover, and it's just overwatching. <laughs> Too many enemies. It feels absolutely like a slugfest. We're racing against uh, the clock, taking hits left and right. It's just a matter of who has still enough hit points to kind of absorb it. Alright, a few things. Let's start with the Advent Priest, because I just full-heartedly hate them. It's probably going to be a stasis anyways but no he survives it that's even worse Alright, so what's the plan? Or let me rather ask, what's a good plan? This here is okay for starters. It's reload. This should be a kill and an extra action. Yeah, and maybe we're killing the priest, who knows. Sustenance, but we do have Bladestorm, so if the priest moves away, we can actually kill him next turn. So that's two of them which we have taken care of. Time for a reload. Yeah, 
and if we're really really lucky let's see if I'm going to kill him Okay, we are lucky. Gotta position ourselves unfortunately next to our target. Which means Puppy here is going to be exposed. And since it's the last round, I have no other option than to stabilize. We have enough hit points to take one or two shots. We know that there is another advent over there. Probably could have moved Baya down here, but she's one, just one field short. Good, time for suppression. That way we're not going to be tongue grabbed or accidentally poisoned. Ah, the, the Viper has Shadow Step. Clever beast. Okay, that's the one shot we were taking. I was expecting that we would take it. So we have three more enemies. That's the third one, the Rocketeer. That's the Retribution kill. Okay, it doesn't look as grim, but it's still a slugfest. We're going to take a shot, uh, a uh, reaction shot, but we do have lightning reflexes, so that should be fine. Yeah, it seems as if that guy has positioned himself behind cover. Which is a bit of a dick move. Although in his defense I would probably have done the same. Just shy of flanking any one of these. I think Harbringer still needs to deal with the guys downstairs.
All right, reloading. 50-50, we're not going to stand in the open. It's definitely not going to happen. Okay, run and gun solves one of our problems, which is we can flank and get this guy down. Let's do a little peek a redo around the corner. Hello there. Shotgun to the face and goodbye. Two left. Harbringer. We'll take the overwood shot. We'll go for half cover. <clears throat> we got lightning reflexes, so no problemo. Let's whiplash to make sure that he is sufficiently injured. Well, or let's not do that. And let's try to kill him directly. Okay, two misses, unfortunately. Okay, moving all the way up to here. I wonder if we can see the Viper from here. We cannot. The reason I was asking is because uh, then I could have body shielded, which we cannot do once we're uh, once we have double moved. But this is going to be my attempt to essentially flank her. Not right now, but soon. Yeah, we're positioning ourselves in full cover. I guess that will be okay. Next turn, we're going upstairs. And let's make sure Mitch is not going to die. Mitch will carry the body of our Shinobi. Which means we're currently fighting with only four soldiers. That's uh, into full cover, by the way. Heavy fire. So not a very smart move. Soon we're going to have more reinforcements. Gotta be ready. I've luckily still one more round. So let's get our ducks in a row and very soon let's get out of here, shall we? This here will trigger overwatch, but we do have lightning reflexes. I go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Well, shut up. And we do have... <laughs> we are running out of ammunition. Oh, no. It was so well planned. All right, starting to carry the unit. And let's slowly but very surely make our way out of here. So we're not knocking him unconscious yet. That'll happen soon. For now, we're just going to reload. Longer fights, unfortunately, take their toll. Clever, the Viper positioned in a way that we cannot uh, see her. Overwatch uh, or suppression means nothing for her because she's simply going to move and then do her turn afterwards, which means we're going to take a shot. It's still up. We need to reload. No other option for us. Moving to here. Sixty percent chance. Let's hit with a precision shot and kill it. Ah, too bad. Okay. Moving to designated coordinates. Trying to make our way out of here. Let's see what the Viper is going to do. There aren't that many more options for her to just move around. Yeah, reinforcements are soon going to be inbound. inbound. Yeah. Yes, if I would have known it, right? Ready to engage. Eight more turns and we need to get over here. Okay, so we're still fine. Moving into the open, I don't like that position, that. but it'll give us a flanking shot. And hopefully, finally kill the Viper. Okay, we're going to move 
our injured uh, targets out of here, subduing the VIP. All right, come with me. Status confirmed. Target package in custody. Gosh, is there no easier way out of here? All right, we're moving over here. Which means we can't leave here next turn, so we gotta fight. I was somewhat hoping that we could prevent that from happening. Are we going to move to a better position for two shots next turn or are we going to overwatch? I think we're going to move to a better position. I like the high ground, so we're taking that instead of overwatching. Yeah, and Harboring uh, moves over here, and we're doing another Overwatch. We're really low on manpower now. Let's hope that the reinforcements are not going to be too brutal. But we don't want to have the Stun Lancers. Yeah, that is uh, somewhat okay, I guess. I have visual. Overwatch trigger. Nope, he's not triggering Overwatch. Okay. I was thinking the guy on the rooftop would have triggered. Ah, tough, tough choice. So Sean Sean again can make it to the evac zone. Got it Mitch can also make it to the evac zone. Moving to position. Which means we're simply bailing out. Good. In terms of running away, I cannot get everyone out of here. Not during uh, this turn. However, we could position ourselves like here. Or up here. Which means we would definitely be able to... Or here means we definitely would be able to get out of here. Good to go. Only one of them can even take shots at us. Okay, we could get Harbringer out of here.
only a 30% chance to hit this guy. Okay, hmm. What we could do though is... We could move to here. Uh, that's... Okay, we could easily get out, right? Let's move up to here. We can pull him out of cover and that should even kill him completely. 50-50. Yeah, sometimes you're missing even the 50-50 ones. Moving Popper, uh, Puppy out of uh, the way. I don't want them to cluster up too much. And yeah, we're probably going to take a hit. But I wouldn't guess uh, that it's going to be something major. Should be able to get out of here next turn. And that is definitely a faceless mission. <laughs> Of course. So much for our prediction of next turn. Okay, we are in trouble. We are in trouble. The Rocketeer was a bit aggressive. I haven't accounted for that one. All right, positioning ourselves still in full cover. 50-50 is good enough. Moving to here. Roger that. All right, Harbringer could move a bit further. I'm just curious. Let's play that smart and don't lose our patience here. So first of all we can take some extra loot. We're then getting an extra action by taking this guy down. Maybe even able to take the sentry down. Nope, that's not the case. And we're moving into full cover. Well, this mission was way more bloody than I would have expected. Spe specifically, the Rocketeer has has got me uh, has got me quite well. Now they bring in stun lancers which is officially the end of the party. They are the bouncers of every single club. You know what's a good timing to get out of here? Right now. 
You're pretty much right now. The map is flooded with advent. We are completely outnumbered. Reinforcements are coming in. Probably going to see dozens of Overwatch shots here. Incoming, over here. And we've been hit and in, uh, kicked into the, in the balls pretty hard in this mission. Almost lost a couple of soldiers. Thankfully, I guess everyone will make it out of here. It's close though. So I resist the initial instinct to, char uh, to charge out of here. And instead, we're going to draw the overwatch shot uh, with lightning reflexes. Good, let's get out of here. Aya luckily can get out of here as well. well do. And Poppy can get out of here and get an extra bonus kill. Alright, barrels to the face. And he's taking the evac. I'm gone. That was some rough shit. So we had, mind you, 12 to 16 is the baseline. The game handed us 35. Seems legit. Wounded, 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 gravely wounded, wounded, wounded. Yeah, and we got one promotion out of it, which is going to be rapid fire, thank you. Uh, well, you guys know how it is. Um, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. <laughs> Boy, that was a harsh mission. We got plus one resistance contacts though. And we got a couple of heavily injured soldiers, so the new missions will need to wait a bit. Speaking about which, oh. That's the liberation mission for for South Africa. I mean, I like it. We definitely would want to do it, but we need our A team for that. Maximum squad size of five. Commander, we currently have no new supplies coming in. We'll need to seek out new means of replenishing our resources. So let's wait until those guys here are back. Which is going to take at least seven more days.
So, yeah, we're going to wait with that. I like it, though, because um, that means we could theoretically liberate another area. Are you kidding me? It, well, it is a great option, but I am not sure if we do have uh, the manpower to actually staff that Setting mission. The last two missions had been relatively brutal and we took a lot of um, hits, so I'm not sure. Let me double check if I can set up a team. Yeah, the reality is I do have one uninjured uh, soldier who's doing nothing. Other than that, everyone is fully occupied, so yeah. Ooh, that needs to wait, I suppose. Maybe in four days, when there is still plenty of time to infiltrate it, that'll be a great mission. But it once again shows that our roster is too small. So we continue to recruit like crazy in the liberated area. Which is good. Um, I think both of uh, the areas look quite well so far. New Bra uh, Brazil so far. I think we should focus on recruiting only. That should be our main priority. Because we can't handle more missions anyways. So, in terms of like building a network, uh, a radio relay over here, we're looking at 350 supplies. That seems like a, a an incredible amount of resources. On the other hand, it will allow us to contact two new regions for reduced intel costs. So let's double check the black market and see that we can get the, uh, the supplies together and essentially build it. I would like to continue expanding. Yeah, we need the cores. We need the cores. Um, Yeah. I mean, I guess I could get rid of it. So that's 211. Uh, we need those here to build sparks. <laughs> we need all of the corpses. And I don't want to sell any of these. So where are we at? Uh, still hun a hundred to go.
Okay. There we go. We easily have enough for 500 more supplies, but I rather would want to keep some of the corpses as well. So that's our first step into expanding. Once the radio relay is built, we can start conquering the entirety of South Africa and get the, the continent bonus, uh, which eventually will give us um, higher weapon modifications and that's easily worth 350 um, supplies. Edgar, Edgar Alien Poe continues his training here. Lead by example, officer improves aim, will, and heck of soldiers within command range by half the difference between uh, soldier and officer. That's not bad, uh, but Edgar doesn't have the best aim. However, for some of the soldiers, it'll be good. The will is an interesting idea because we could stack willpower on him. Yeah, Intel is not a big uh, thing. I We have enough Intel. Way more than we could uh, use at the moment. I'm rather not boosting missions and having a harder mission than wasting Intel on them. We're fine. Plenty of Intel. Supplies are still our biggest problem. And look at that. We got a new gre uh, Grenadier. Plus, all negative traits are removed, which means we can put Gunnery Sergeant uh, Gino in there. What was her uh, problem? His problem, rather, Dark Tower, Fear of Mutants. Oh yeah, that's good. We're waiting the 10 days. Easy. Not even not even a problem. Okay. Uh, we wanted to train the next rookie into another sharpshooter. And we had one with uh, 75 aim, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Shayna Rabin. Good, very good. Probably need one or two more specialists because lately I've noticed how much it sucks if you don't have a specialist on your mission. I'd rather have one or two of them spare. Oh, we're having additional missions well that's completely surprising has never happened before prevent a resistance data leak uh. yeah we're in the same shitty situation how am i supposed to staff that mission i mean one thing that we could do is We could boost uh, this infiltration here. Yeah.
we could boost this infiltration and basically get it down to a moderate level. Or, alternatively, we could go for the supply rate. So let's check how many soldiers we have left over. I mean, it's not that bad. I was, uh, to be honest, I was expecting way worse. Uh, so we got a Reaper, Shinobi Assault, Specialist, Grenadier sort of combination. And it would be nice if we had a sharpshooter, but that will take three more days. We could always just take another rookie on, onto the mission as a sixth uh, member. Uh, upon consideration, maybe we can even do the mission, to be honest. Let's take a close look at it again. Yeah, that's just finding a lead. Uh, we didn't want to do that one. This is preventing a data uh, leak. 20, a baseline of 20. Hmm. Setting course for the West African sector. If I can uh, field six, then I would be comfortable doing it. Let me do that real quick. All right, after a lot of back and forth, <clears throat> I managed to deploy five. But at the expense of not being able to hit 100% uh, infiltration. So I will make the call whether or not we're spending 30 Intel to just go on to this mission and then get Intel plus a lot of uh, the loot items uh, there. We could bring it down to a very moderate <clears throat> baseline. I think this team here is okay. We got all of the tools uh, that we would need in order to do it. Uh, fighting in the subway is also okay. So those areas are fine. Also for explosives and so on. Um, but I'm not sure what kind of or what types of enemies we're going to face. So that's going to be a bit of a challenge yeah, and I just decided we we probably need a bit more armor penetrating rounds so uh, quick feet is going to lead this uh, team together with uh, Sean uh, Sean against uh, both of them Outrider insane um, already good soldiers Outrider has all of the tools available to enable the team and this year the three of them should have plenty of damage if we manage to fight only one pack at a time. So let's infiltrate it and see how well we're doing. It's definitely going to be more on the difficult side, but A, I want to play difficult missions, and uh, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend that for the home uh, player. If you're just starting out with Long War, it would have been more clever to not do this mission. Um, but a, I want to have difficult missions, and B, I also am a little bit greedy. So let's continue to scan very soon. <clears throat> the next mission will pop up for us, and that'll be the end of uh, this, se uh, this session. Yeah, there we go. That is... 
essentially the time to uh, to go. Next time we're going to have a pretty hardcore supply run. We brought our prime squad here in order to fight them off. If we play our cards right, we'll get 30 to 40, well, 35 to 50 rather, uh, corpses, which should be fantastic. Fills, out, uh, fills up our reserves and um, I'll be able to buy some equipment for the rookies. So thank you so much for watching. We had a banger of a mission, pretty difficult one. Um, as always, leave a comment and a like down below. It helps uh, the series. Thank you so much. Until the next time, bye-bye.